Hello once again everyone, Original Blood Ace here, and we have an interesting video to do today. PlayStation Network, PSN for short, was once again hacked. Oh, Sony. Now this video is going to cover a variety of things. We're starting off with how this whole thing started off, with a group apparently called Lizard Squad. Apparently a group of hackers who, they have a motto where they want to they basically want to take Sony down once and for all they want Sony gone as a company why who knows but that is their plan so they made it so you couldn't log into the PlayStation Network I don't know about the PSN store or all that stuff but they basically did a DDoS attack I'm not gonna go into that but basically they spammed the shit out of the servers and just destroyed them, well not destroyed them, but overworked them and flooded them, causing all of this hullabaloo. Now, this has escalated to way crazy shit. We've gotten to the point where people are jumping on the bandwagon claiming that they themselves were part of this, whether or not they were or not, we don't know. But there, this has even gotten to the point where actually before I get to that let me show you this this is what someone was showing me on the comments here I clicked on their link and uh, oh great there we go this shows like uh, I'm not exactly a hundred percent of understanding what it is but it's like the amount of attacks across the world or whatever and you can see I mean the quality is not really the greatest because this is the Wii U gamepad I'm not really recording this off my uh, computer but uh, it's hard to tell but you can see right above attack types there United States is in the 400s, almost 500. That's insanely massive. You can, and it's like really laggy and stuff. But again, that's because this is on the gamepad, not the my computer. But it's insane. This has gone so far that even a plane. There was a bomb threat on a plane from someone claiming to be part of this on a plane that had some higher up Sony guy on it. I don't know who it was, but apparently the plane had to be diverted. They had to like change course and land somewhere else or something. So it's gone from going after Sony to almost a terrorism thing. And that's not all. Apparently, Lizard Squad has now turned their attentions to Microsoft and the Xbox Live. As it says here on Lizard Squad's Twitter, is anyone having issues with the Xbox login servers? <laughs> and this guy says, yes, fuck up Xbox. <laughs> uh, some people are doubting, saying, you don't have the skills. Uh, now Xbox is going down, left my ass off. So whether these people are capable of it, we don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were successful in taking down Xbox Live for a while. Um... Now it was about a few years back, was it 2012 where Sony was attacked last and hacked and their security was laughable, it was like it hadn't been upgraded in like seven years uh, and like anyone could hack it basically. Microsoft has been hacked before uh, on Xbox Live, I forget who did it or when it was, I think it was a year or two years, maybe three years ago. Uh, so it's kind of funny how... Sony and Microsoft are targeted, but no one really goes after Nintendo. But this is kind of where having an online, in Nintendo's sense, which is not quite to the caliber of Xbox Live and PSN, actually protects Nintendo. While Nintendo's network, the new, or the new online for Nintendo, Nintendo Network, since that just existed since the Wii U, um, while that is good for Nintendo, it's not really up to par with Xbox Live and PSN. But, the reason that no one attacks Nintendo, other than maybe they just don't feel like it, is the fact that Nintendo's online is different to the point where, I believe Reggie himself said it in an interview, I think it was the last time Sony was hacked, Reggie was asked how Nintendo felt about that, and Reggie said something along the lines of, um, uh, customer security or whatnot is very, or very special and very, uh, you know, top priority with Nintendo, and that Nintendo's online, which would be the Nintendo Network, is consistently being upgraded, like, monthly or whatever, so it's like every month, 
the Nintendo network is being altered and changed and upgraded and updated. So basically, you don't get enough time to learn how it works to hack it. So, I mean, good on Nintendo for that, but at the same time, we're not really focusing on Nintendo in this video. The thing is, Sony was first hacked. Could they ha or hack Microsoft? Probably. I wouldn't be too surprised. I find it quite hilarious, to be honest. I mean, these people, I don't know why, but they really want to go after Sony and take them down. I find that hilarious. Let me see if I can actually find that, uh, their motto or whatever. Uh, it was in these comments somewhere. Uh, now the page is going to be slow because I want the gamepad. Ah, come on. Come on, you know you want to load the page. Come on. Um... They've escalated from internet attacks to terrorism, uh, someone bomb threat, or called in a bomb threat on the plane. I don't know what the SOE, Senior Operating Executive maybe? I don't know. President was on, causing its flight to be diverted. Uh, now they've put up a picture from the extremist scumbags, ISIS, I don't know what that is, waving their flag, saying they've put this on Sony servers. Um... <laughs> Sony, you expect me to pay for PS Plus when people can deal, or when people have to deal with this crap? Um, where is that? Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Blizzard was also attacked as part of like the whole Sony thing. There was Sony Blizzard. Uh, RuneScape was hacked before, um, so like World of Warcraft and everything too. Uh, there's the, if it was Lizard Squad, it looks like they're targeting Xbox next. Apparently it's being attacked right now. DDoS attacks are clogging up the sinks. Garbage disposal with too much junk. No company's network is completely immune to such attacks. Uh, don't you just love online gaming? What a joke. Uh, it is when you can get taken down by some loser with nothing better to do. I'll stick with playing online, or offline, as long as I can. Um, where is this message? Uh, people are starting petitions for Sony to change their, uh, security. I mean, they could change it, but it really wouldn't do much. These guys would eventually figure out how to get past it. Um, it's really stupid what these guys are doing. I mean... For a legal standpoint, yeah, it's illegal to hack and everything, so it's stupid there, but I find it fucking hilarious. I mean, if they want to risk, you know, breaking the law by hacking Sony and Microsoft <laughs> to send a message, go for it. Whatever, though. Uh, let's see here. Oh, here it is. They said their goal was to destroy Sony once and for all. Their motto is, some lizards just want to see the world burn. Which is kind of like, some men want to see the world burn from Batman or whatever. <laughs> so, whatever. Um, I guess that's going to do it for this video. So once again, remember Sony, the PSN network was attacked. I don't know if it's back up yet. Uh, but these things, they happen all the time. Well, not all the time, but I mean, every once in a while they'll pop up. Sony was hacked a few years back. They're hacked again. What does that say about them and their security? Not exactly top-notch, I would say. Um, and then, of course, Microsoft, apparently, they're coming for you next. Uh, so, careful, Microsoft. Uh, I don't think Nintendo has to worry. If they tried to come after Nintendo, that'd be kind of redundant, to be honest. Kind of pointless. Either way, I'm Original Bloodies. As always, stay tuned. More videos coming soon. As always.